tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. When a man or a woman stands up knowing they're going to die for their faith in my Lord Jesus Christ, I got no criticism whatsoever for somebody like that. That is as real as Christianity gets. It doesn't get any more real than that. When you're willing to stand up and die for your faith in the Son of God, somebody has got to listen. Somebody's got to take note. Somebody's got to say something about that. And by the grace of God, I'm going to do it. Was Calvary a failure? Was crucifixion a failure? As the Pope says, was the cross a failure? Oh no, 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 no. What does the Bible say? The Bible says in John chapter number 19 and verse number 30, when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said it is finished and bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Glory to God. Are you listening? He said on the cross, while it was hanging on the tree, he said it's finished, it's done, it's accomplished, it's consummated, no more can be done. That doesn't sound to me like failure, that sounds to me like victory. In Galatians chapter number 6 and verse 14, but God forbid that I should glory save in the cross, bless his holy name, of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified to me and I unto the world.